Ethan, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Very, very good. Thank you. What What the name of this color? This is it look, It's not quite olive, is it? No, it's not. But it's um, it will be cousins to army green in a lighter yeah. shade. It will be cousins to army. Yeah. So it's a, a light, very interesting light green, green yeah. between olive like and minty. Like <laughs> you know, Paul, the cameraman, yeah. he's looking at me like, quick, 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 quick. Oh, Luz. <laughs> yeah, but no, but it's, no, but it's nice. Thank yeah, it's you, nice. thank yeah, you, yeah. thank no, you. No, but these days, we I don't understand what, what's going on, but well, what, I've what, seen what that, do you mean no, by I've seen that the members have decided Oh, you've been really that, nice, no. um, uh, what do you call Quotes. it? Quotes yeah. that we should be happy. No, we should be we happy. We should be actually. thankful, yes. we should be grateful. Choose life. Yeah, I've Choose chosen happy. life, and I'm happy. I'm <laughs> complaining, Charlie. What do you want me to do? No, it's a, no I'm observing. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm observing. Are you worried? Observers are worried. My tickets are happy. What's, what's, well, let's get into the papers. Shelley, I want to start see. with the Chronicle please because do. its headlines are quite interesting. Okay. Rebellion in Parliament, mm. NPP MPs split over Ofriata, but party chairman urges calm. And then still um, on the Chronicle, Forex Bureau joined fight to arrest runaway dollar. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. And then still all the critical industries, banks pledge to help government solve economic crisis. I don't know who this quote is for, the, the, the scripture, scripture but <laughs> Proverbs 30, 17, the eye that mocks uh -huh. a father uh -huh. and scorns uh -huh. to obey a mother yeah. will be picked out by the ravens of the valley hey. and eaten by the vultures. Oy. The eye Oy. that mocks a father and scorns to obey a mother uh -huh. will be picked out by the ravens of the valley. So who are, they, who are they shading today? Please, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shaleba, it looks like the, the dollar, no. You know, there was a time when it had been arrested and the key had been given to the IGP. Uh -huh. So it means the dollar has done prison break -o. We have to all help to arrest this, this yeah, capture yeah. back this do, uh, CD because it's... Yeah. it's but it's it seemed to have reeled back a little bit um, yeah. uh, last night. I think night. since, yeah, even from the weekend, it's mm. been a bit... Um, it's a move from, you know, there was the 15 yes. last week. Yes. It moved to the 14 and, and you can get it. Yeah, last night 13, I heard it was 30.5 yeah. there about. I think it may move to maybe 12 because... Between mm. 12 and 13 mm. and hang there in a For, bit. Yeah. And you know what we're saying about the speculation yeah. yesterday yeah. and the panic, you know. Mm. And when people see things being done, when the discussion is, yes. is changed a bit yeah. around, I mean, there are long terms we need to yeah. deal with, short terms, but when you're able to deal with the panic issues mm. and all that, mm. it helps. Now, the Forex Bureau people are saying, yeah. we want to help, we're on board, yeah. whatever it takes. Yeah. We have the banks mm. also, they want to help yeah. and all that. And of yeah. course, we have the IMF deal yeah. and all that. And a bit yesterday, we saw some attention moving away from the CD because mm. of what the some majority MPs yes, did in Parliament. Parliament. Yeah. That also, some of these things I, I will, think will tone it down. For, yes, so for me, I, one of the things that I thought w was interesting was um, the impact of decision making, makers in terms of the political arena, you know, the impact of that on confidence, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because I think that one of the things that erodes a lot of confidence is when we're not sure if anybody is running anything. We're not sure who's yeah. in charge of what. Yeah. It's like things yeah. just seem to be rolling yeah. out and we don't seem to have any, you know, nobody's gripping yeah. anything. You know, to come and because, see. you know, initially our mm. markets, mm. years ago, before I started, when I started doing uh, yeah. business news, yeah. the markets, mm. which mainly the Ghana Stock Exchange, yes. the... Um, uh, what you call it, the bonds market yes. and all. We, we used to be told that it doesn't really react to um, developments um, and all that. Yeah. Like you see in the West where, mm. a, 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 you know, a stock exchange can crash yeah. because of a because statement, of a decision, because of a decision, yeah. It, yeah. it shows. But now things are changing. Yes. It may not necessarily still react mm. so much on the Ghana Stock Exchange, but when it comes to the currency market, yeah. it does react. Yes, yeah, it does yeah. react. And one of the things that will make the currency market react mm. is knowing that um, the, the, the managers of the economy yeah. are doing something to yeah. do, bringing back the confidence. confidence. So it's let's see how it critical. goes. With, because there's still the call for the mm. finance minister to resign. Yeah. If he resigns, it will be interesting to monitor how, yeah, the, how currency the currency market react. will react. Yeah. My suspicion, and I don't want to preempt anything, but my suspicion is that it will bolster confidence because 
I think a lot of people have sort of spoken over time that they feel that he in place, and it, they may not be right, but he being in place, it's, it's part of the, the reason, reason why we have the challenges but, but, that we have. I mean, have, if you, know. you listen to the president mm, yesterday, mm. after that meeting with the MPs, mm. he's saying we should give him time yeah. to, to at least finish the IMF deal. Yeah. That deal won't be finished by the end of October. Well, he was saying it won't be weeks. finished by uh, right. uh, November. So Ken will be there at least till the end of the year. So it's what it is. So, <laughs> with that in mind, let me take you to City News. Please take us to City News. And um, <laughs> the big story there is let him seal IMF deal first. Okay. to NPP MPs mm. who mm. want Euphoria to sacked. Um, let me give you just a few, a few whatever um, notes from that story. The president has asked the MPP members of parliament demanding the removal of Ken Euphoria as yeah. finance minister to hold on till Ghana concludes negotiations with the International Monetary Fund. At yeah. a meeting with the aggrieved MPs at the Jubilee House, Nana mm. Kufuado appealed for calm. Um, uh, City News gathered that the MPs were not happy with mm. the appeal and were still insisting on the finance minister's yeah. exit. Nana Kufuado has asked Ken Ofriata to be given three more weeks to conclude the IMF negotiations. So, mm. We are already in the last week, uh, Monday is the 31st of October. Yeah. So November ended. So please, three more weeks, then we'll see how this thing goes. So <laughs> we could, that's what it is with this matter. Still um, on citynewsroom.com, <laughs> Speaker of Parliament to decide Adra Safo's fate today. So um, another big story there where, you know, there have been calls for her to leave yeah. that, uh, yeah. what you call a seat, and it's been taken to Parliament, mm. and um, the Speaker will rule today whether that seat will be declared vacant yeah. or she still has to stay. Yeah. And then this story, too, that was making rounds last week, the <sighs> Education minister, uh, minister has reacted hmm. to it. Dr. Educhum, defense new GES yeah. boss, insists yeah. he's qualified for, the, for job. the job. So initially, that's what I it think is. it was Angel Kabunu who had said that, um, well, he was, he's never been a teacher before, and uh, how can he, mm -hmm. you know, come as a an supposed administrator and come and yeah. run you yeah. know, something for yeah. teachers? Yeah. But then apparently he's been, he's been teaching. He's been, and I'm know, told all the negotiations over the, the tertiary, COLA, um, uh, yes, all those money things. He's matters. been involved he's in the all those things. In the yeah, so I don't understand. <laughs> and since we are with City um, yes. News, uh, let me quickly do City Business News. Sure. Then we return to the newspapers. Uh, on citybusinessnews.com, your comprehensive business news website, um, the lead story is Construction Chamber joins calls for the removal of Finance Minister. Oh, mm. And then $1.13 billion Coco syndicated loan. First tranche expected to hit the central bank's account today. Oh. So the CD, you should be happy. You should be excited. This man will be put into the system to help, you know, show up Both the city a bit. So yeah, no, I, I, every effort should be made, you know. I mean, I would like to see us back at at least 12 to the dollar and hopefully better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it can hopefully, happen. Hopefully better. And then the last yeah. one, Guta calls for scrapping of benchmark value system. Okay. okay, so that's uh, City Business News. Should yeah. I go to graphic or you L want to let do me times? do Let me do Ghanaian Times okay. and then, yeah. So we have um, 80 majority MPs, minority caucus demand dismissal of Oforiata and it do him. 80 guards, 87 guards pass out to protect country's river bodies. Let's deepen collaboration to ensure recovery, stability and resilience. Um, this was on the UN Day celebration. This is being uh, said by the foreign minister. We'll support government steer, uh, steer out of economic stress. AGI is committing to the government. Yeah. Okay, so the graphic has uh, all those big stories. The majority mm. against uh, some majority members calling for the dismissal of the yeah. Forex Bureau and all that. But what I think uh, most papers haven't captured is this coming from uh, economist Kwame Mpinim on the current issue. He's mm. saying... Support government build resilient economy. Kwame Pinim urges citizenry. Now mm. he's saying that uh, he's calling on Ghanaians to rally mm. behind the president and his government to drive the economy out of his current challenges. He explained that with the same zeal adopted. To
to fight the COVID-19 pandemic, the government will be able to navigate its way around the challenges and build back a resilient economy that could support businesses and the citizenry in general. So let's rally. Mm. The, thing, the thing is bad. It's, it's not good. Let's all come together, help and build the economy for our own good. Yeah. So quick. Well, you know, <laughs> no, I'm just... There's so many different things are, are running through my mind right now about how we do things, you know, oh. as a nation. I, I don't know, were you surprised when the majority uh, had 80 people say that we, we, are, we, we are taking our, you know, um, lives into our own hands, as it mm -hmm. were. We are mm -hmm. saying that we do not appreciate his, uh, his managing of things. He should step down. Were you surprised? I, I, you by know, the when when I was prompted yeah. that um, breaking news was happening, th this this is what was <laughs> happening in Parliament. The yeah. first question I asked: Is it minority? Are yeah. you confused? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no. My yeah. my parliamentary correspondent was like, "No, Vivian, it's the majority." majority. I was like, oh, this is something else. Yeah. That was surprising because yeah. usually, typically, you we've see, never had that. We've never had that. We've seen in one or two jurisdictions where mm. there's been call the, the 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 people from a particular party mm. in government have called for um, the, the dismissal of whether it's their president or whatever. Yeah. But I think it's a good thing, a good good, good yeah. thing that happened. I actually think it so. shows that. Yeah. These MPs are also under pressure from mm. their constituents. Yes. You know, now the discussion is moving away from, oh, I belong here, I belong yes. there. Everybody is yeah. feeling the pinch. Yeah. I think even the president has mm. said that, mm. indeed, we are in challenging times. Yeah. Indeed, we're all feeling the crunch. Yeah. Our revenues have depleted. Um, you know, there's challenges and all that. So we all know yeah. that this is what is happening. Mm. It will be strange that you behave as if yeah, you, don't you don't know what is happening. Aware. So yeah. it, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's a good mm. thing. They, mm. they, people have criticized yeah. them. But I think they are speaking I like what it. the people I like want it a to lot. hear. And, and, and I'm not... Uh, yeah. You know, I think they, they were probably gingered into action by the happenings in the UK as well, seeing that it's actually possible. Oh, they want to we can actually try do this. We can actually do this, you know. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. so, Kweku, yeah. that's it. I have to take leave of you. Okay. But um, coming up, is, is it Benjamin Kitty? It's the, Benjamin Kitty. The troublesome guy, yeah, Liverpool know, right? guy, yeah, always yeah. worrying my UV people. <laughs> He's up next to sports. Benjamin. So, so, so you're out? I'm out. I okay. got to go. I got to love you or leave you. We'll but you I'll later. see you at the other, oh, other side of right. town. Take care of yourself. You need to take care. All Bye. Right. Sports <laughs> review. It's